MLB The Show's coverage of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 10-team AAA West. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Salt Lake Bees and the Round Rock Express. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Now to the plate, Deshaun Knowles, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. And he lays off, all four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Ready now is Dexter Fowler. Knowles on at first, nobody out. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. So a runner at first with one out now. And that brings up Mike Trout. Now the two one. Strike two swinging. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Runner at first with two gone, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. The 2-2 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Stepping in is Steele Walker. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one two. It's high and outside for a ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now at the plate, here is Anderson Tejeda in his career against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. In tight with the slider, two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Next to hit is Eli White. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And that nope. misses two and one. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Here now the two-two. Hard hit ball to short, and that's through for a hit. That is cool. The third baseman. So now to the plate, Andy Abanez in the dirt, and now let's see. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. So it's first and second with two men gone, and that'll bring up Sam Huff. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. That is good. The first base And Blake now, number 83. The two and two. Two high. Three ball two. three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Out of the stretch, the three two home. Count remains full. Hard 
hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Leading off the inning, it'll be Matt Seitz, and they could use a spark from him here. The 1-1 one, one home. Ross has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Full count now. Fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Now with the plate is Jose Rojas. Jose Rojas. Hard hit to first. A dive and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Striding in is Franklin Barreto. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. He's falling behind now. Three and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Thice leads off second with one gone in the inning. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So now to the plate, Mitch Ney. A potential tying run for him at third base. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. And now here is Ronald Guzman. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And hey. struck him out. And now Ryan Doro. Batting it. The second baseman. Ryan Doro. The 1-1. One, one. There's a fastball nope. taken high for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. It's three and one now. One thing that can nag at U.S. pitchers having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The right field. So now into the box is a Swan Vieira trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, and they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up at knots. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt, and oh. that ends the inning. Stepping up is Chad Wallach, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Fouled off. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Count even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. 
It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. White, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Deshaun Knowles worked a walk his first time up. Lined is short but gobbled up there and there are two away. Here's Dexter Fowler now, struck out in his first at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Here now the two, two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Corner and slicing foul. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So now here is Steele Walker, 0 for 1 here in the early going. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping in, Anderson Tejeda, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out, nobody on. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Eli White waits on deck. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Next, it'll be Eli White. He singled in his first A.B. Now the one and one pitch. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Here comes the one two. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batter, third baseman, Andy. At the plate, Andy Abanez. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. Into the box, Sam Huff. Runners are at the corners with one man out. A bullet to first base. Up next, number 83, and their runners at the corners now. The 2 1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Fastball, well outside. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his back. A 
Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. In now is Anthony Rendon looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Stepping in now, Matt Seitz. Fouled away. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Two two pitches fouled away. No outs, nobody on. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now that. To the plate now is the designated Jose. hitter, Jose Rojas. Rojas. He bounced out last time up. Oh. Down low, two balls and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Hey. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. 2-2. Uh, two -two. I know it. he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Now back the shortstop, Franklin Barreto. In now, Franklin Barreto to two Ooh, balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. So the next to bat will be Mitch Ney. He flew out in his last A.B. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, two. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Now it'll be Ryan Doro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 one, one home is in there for the second strike. This is foul right side. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a Number great take three. by the batter. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Ryan Doro becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to down with. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes now for the second time here tonight. Steel. Walker. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Throw into second. 
the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired. Anderson, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Chad Waller. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Deshaun Knowles comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. Lifted in the air out to right. Vieira will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Base is empty, two away, and that'll bring in the switch hitting Dexter. outfielder Dexter Fowler. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes two. now. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no Walter. chance he throws you a fourth. Two out, nobody on. Look out, a fastball up here is dome, three, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Tejeda is there, and the side is retired. Taylor Cole, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Taylor. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Anderson Tejeda. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. Count is 2 and 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. The battle. Next no up deal. is Eli White. Eli. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll take he's it to out. the bag himself for the out. So here's now the cleanup hitter, Andy Abanez, singled Andy. in his last at bat. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Sixth about to get started, and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. There's Trout waiting on the 1 1. Now a shot sent off to the right side, but foul. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Walker is there, and he'll bring this one in. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at-bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Ball even at two and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now that the first piece. To the plate now, Matt Seitz. Huh. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now that designated hitter. 
Jose. So now to the plate, Jose Rojas. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. The count now at two and two. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And next up will be Franklin Barreto, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Strike taken, good bender on the outside there. Breaking the ball misses the corner, two balls and two strikes. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is when you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Sam Huff. Fouled off. The 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Stepping in once again is number 83. It was a walk in his last trip. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Now the Next will be the designated hitter, hitter Ronald. Ronald Guzman, struck Ronald out in his Ball. last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, now but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Mitch Ney. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Now to the plate, here is Chad Wallach. No hits to this point. We're in the seventh inning now, but pitchers duel two to one our score. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next, here is Deshaun Knowles as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. The 1 1. Taken, strike two. Bases are empty here with two men. Right side, but it's well foul. Still one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Ryan Doro. Now the 2 1 pitch. No, that's down. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Hey. Three and two. Wow, three that's ball, four two straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five ball, right here. Ball. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Number two. Now at the plate, a Swan Vieira. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the one and one. 
I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Now that the center field into the box, Steel Walker. Now both runners are breaking high in the air down the right field line. Knowles is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Throw won't get him. So here is Anderson Tejeda. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Fouled away. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Felix Pena takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Into the box now. Eli White just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes the one two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now batting. Third baseman. Andy. And now Andy Abanez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pena playing here in his age 31 season. He offers up a two-seamer, a slider, yep, a changeup, well. and a four-seamer. Three and one to him now. And it's up to a three, two, full Can't count now. Hit. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could now get them out of the Kendrick. inning. Huh. Ready with the one one pitch. Eight, two. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with number one away. Stepping in now, number 83. One ball. A good action two on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run scores. The throw home, and he is in there. James Hoyt enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try now to keep the deficit right where it is. Ronald. At the plate now, Ronald Guzman. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus now far. Back. Four Second strikeouts. Right. Two men are on with two men out. Doro. High in the air down the right field line. Knowles is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. <laughs> Digging in, the switch hitter, Dexter Fowler. He's 0 for 2 in the so far. The 2 1 home. The bouncer to the left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. The center field, At the plate, Mike Trout wow. turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Grounded back up the middle. One there on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. So base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. 1-1. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. 
ready to deliver the one and two. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Vieira finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Now to bat, a Swan Vieira, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The set and the 1 1 pitch. That's ball two. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Into the box. The Steel Walker. The He's got field. one hit and four at-bats. Walker. 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Next to stand in is Anderson Tejeda. He went deep to the tune of a three run job his last time up. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Plate now is Matt Theis, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. A payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting. Striding forward now is the DH, Jose, Jose Rojas. Rojas. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Next up, Franklin Barreto. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. In the side here with the hard stuff, and it's 2 and 1 now. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Digging in next, Mitch Nain, man at first after the two-out walk. A 1-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the Sunday exclamation point. I love it. Seven one the final score in tonight's round round he jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Drew Anderson pitches well enough to get the W. Griffin Canning was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan Pleasak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. First for the Victorious Express, seven runs on ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Bees, one run, five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and five minutes.
thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.